Erica Marie and I'm known as the Chakra Analyzer. So tonight I decided to log on and do a pick a card reading for you all. And the question that I asked was, is what did the full moon over the weekend, this was a super moon by the way, um, what did this full moon help you to close up, wrap up any kind of cycle to move you forward, okay? This full moon was about propelling you forward to take action, okay? So think about what pile are you gonna choose tonight? Pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three? So those that chose pile number one. So what the full moon is helping you with right now is you are wrapping up a cycle, like things are crumbling away that are no longer serving your highest good, of course. Um, but what it is, it's deception. It's actually self-deception this time, though. So you are no longer going to live in that victim mindset, that lack mentality. You're going to walk away from that. And you're going to recognize when you start like getting in your head, okay? Because you're, this group is very analytical, um, it's almost like a risk analysis type person where you're constantly like when things present themselves, you have to look at like every single option. And then with every option, you think of like what the outcome could be because you know that like there's a consequence to your actions, right? So you're always, um, getting so wrapped up in your head and trying to control and you're forgetting or you were forgetting that all you have to do is literally just pray or meditate, whatever you resonate with, and ask God for the guidance. And once you do this, then you receive it. You always do. You always are okay at the end of the day. So what you guys have learned and what this full moon is propelling you forward to do is you're recognizing when you start to get in those negative thoughts and self-deception, you're recognizing it immediately and you're not, you're, you're holding yourself accountable. You're not even entertaining those thoughts. And what you're doing is you're walking away from that and you are taking a different action and a different approach whenever things present themselves. So you are, what you're doing is you are relying on God. You are praying, you are relying on Jesus and God and you know that you are, like you're going to receive the guidance as long as you ask, okay? So meditation and, and praying is the answer from now on, okay, pile number one? And because of this, you have your freedom. You are free to choose. Self-deception, getting wrapped up in those thoughts, or are you gonna, you're free to choose. God is going to guide you. Okay, always have faith, have trust. This is what this is about. Stay out of fear and stay in faith. Okay, pile number ones, I'm excited for you. Bye. So those that chose pile number two, what the full moon is helping you end and then propelling you forward to do is you, you're you ending the like dating scene, okay? In your past, you've kind of been, you've actually fallen off your path where you have been like desiring like love. And what this is doing is kind of creating a codependency type energy, which codependency sits within the sacral chakra, which is the second chakra. And because of this, you are not having luck and love, okay? your intuition is also off and blocked because you are not healed, okay? And what I mean by this is you are attracting the same type of relationship that you've always been in. That's why it didn't work out, okay? They all had to end because they're not working out. Well, you're attracting new people, but it's not necessarily new energy. So these people that you're attracting are literally carrying like the same wounds that you're carrying, okay? So those are low vibration. What you need to do is you need to heal and cleanse your energy and then raise your vibration, okay? And once you raise your vibration, once you're healed, that is the energy you're going to put out and you're going to attract you know, 
a relationship that's going to be of high vibration as well that's healed. And therefore, then you will attract love that, and have that healthy healing. So healthy, heal thyself, healthy relationship. Okay? But it all starts with you. You have to heal. You cannot sit here and stay in this cycle where you keep attracting the same type of relationship just a different person. Because what you're doing is when you decide to you know, date this person or be intimate with this person, you're allowing their energy now into your energy. And any past relationships that they've been in, and you're attracting their energy and it sits within your energy field, you know, your sacral chakra. So what this full moon is helping you do is to recognize this. Say no to dating right now. Just be done with it right now. I'm not saying forever, okay? But right now, say no to dating. Be patient. Your love will come, but you have to like heal yourself and love yourself first and foremost. And how you're going to do this is you're going to stop having a pity party. You're going to stop saying, why am I attracting these, you know, people? <laughs> um, stop playing the victim right now. And move forward, start healing, and tap into your Akashic record right now. The Akashic record sits right above our head. It's like an eye cloud for your soul mission. Everything that you need to know is in your Akashic record. If you guys don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it, look it up. Only take what resonates with you, of course. But you can tap into your Akashic record at any time. This will help you heal and move forward on your path because you've been off your path because you're too focused on finding a love partner or a partnership at this time, a romantic partnership. And you got to stop being focused on that. You need to move forward, tap into your Akashic record, and heal your sacral chakra. That's the second chakra. The color orange resonates with that. Okay, So eat high vibrational foods, fruits and vegetables that are the color orange. Okay, You can also light orange candles. And ask Archangel Ariel to help you cleanse that area, okay? Once you do this, also when you're, you know, cleansing your energy, you can do this. So our sacral chakra is connected to creativity, okay? Creation, that's where procreate comes from, okay? If you color in a coloring book, if you paint a picture, if you just doodle or write, if you make music, this is what you need to focus on right now. Focus on these hobbies. Get your sacral chakra cleansed. That is how you're going to heal. Okay? Once you heal, you will have the infinite abundance that you desire. And that can be, of course, love coming in for you. Okay? So pile number twos, you can do this. Just say no right now. Focus on yourself and focus on your hobbies. This is what the full moon is helping you propel forward into, okay? Everybody have a good night. So those that chose pile number three. So what the full moon is helping you end and then propel you to move forward with is something to do with the family unit. Now this can be about your family right now, currently, or this can be about your family from your childhood, or it can be, you know, something that's been generational where, you know, it happened with your grandparents and then maybe with your parents and then, you know, you had to do it. Um, but whatever it is with the family unit, it, it caused unhappiness within the family, okay? And the reason why there was so much, like, unhappiness was because there's a lot of deception and falsehoods um, and lies, to, like, surrounding um, this family unit, okay? And you want to move forward and how you're going to do this and how you're going to like heal from this or break the cycle or break the chains possibly of this family, you know, issue is you need to bring transparency. You need to bring the light to it and how you're going to do this. The action you're going to take moving forward is you're going to speak the truth. You're going to communicate it. You've been kind of hesitant about this. You've been kind of like in this fear-based energy where, yes, like, we know there's always like consequences to our actions. There's always consequences when you speak the truth. You don't really know what's going to happen 
um, and you might upset people, you know, and maybe you've been kind of hesitant about that. But please know that you don't have to do it alone. You know, you can ask God to help you. Um, you do have the, like, the energy right now is the energy that you do need to, like, move forward, okay? You need to just stay in, in love and know that you are going to speak this truth based off of, you know, love for yourself. And, you know, this is going to... So, what I'm being told is go with your intuition because you might be hesitant right now. Like, go with your gut on when you want to share this information, I guess, is what's coming through. So, you're going to have to write this. So, I don't know if you need to write... Um, it can even be like a court motion that you have to write or... This can be something about writing a book or writing a story where you're eventually going to like share your story with the public possibly. Um, please know that you are going to, you're going to do this. Okay. You're just kind of like trying to figure out when you should do it. So you're kind of being patient right now. That's okay. That That's okay. Be patient. Figure out how you're going to Bring that transparency. Figure out how you're going to communicate this, whether it be verbal, whether it be written, okay, whether it is in front of people presenting something that is like, here, look at, here's the facts. This is what really happened, you know, just to bring that healing to the situation so you no longer have to deal with this or whatever it is in your life any longer, okay? So, pile number threes. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. You will be speaking your truth. Just not right this second. Okay, guys? So that was your readings. My name is Erica Marie. I'm known as a Chakra Analyzer. You can find me in my videos on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Everybody have a good night. Bye.